Congratulations. You found the one station that plays Ghana's best urban music. I like to come up with a song on the radio. YFM. Listen to YFM 107.9 Accra, 102.5 Kumasi, and 97.9 in Takarati. That is my personal favorite from Stone Boy. Come from far. I love the music video as well, man. Everything about the song kills me. 25 after 10. Second hour of the mid morning show. We're ready for my leaderboard series. I can't listen to the building. Now, today on the leaderboard series, Showbiz takes center stage as we explore the life and work of one of Ghana's biggest and most influential musical talents. Uh, of course, born in Ashama in the greater Accra region of Ghana. He's considered a multi faceted musical act due to the various musical stars he possesses. Back in 2015, I remember very well, he received many awards and nominations, ranging from Artists of the Year to Album of the Year. His sophomore album, The Necessary Evil, was the recipient of three Ghana Music Awards for six nominations. He's also a proud recipient of the Best International Act at the BT Awards in 2015, among other international awards across the world. Now, when you're talking artists that have really represented Africa very well, we can say for a fact that Livingston, a Chesata Club Stone Boy, is one. And definitely a proud gem of our motherland, Ghana. Today we're here to celebrate him. Um, he shares his real life story with us to inspire the youth out there. Bits and bits of what he went through to get to where he is now. How he even feels to be where he is now. All that and more. Our honored guest on the show this morning is none other than Stone Boy. And as always, if you want to be a part of the show, by WhatsApp is 02022 22073. Get on our Twitter at Y1079 FM or stream live on Facebook as well. Make sure. You join us. <laughs> the king is looking dapper in his uh, white shirt. Uh, I'm sure guys watching on Facebook can attest to this. He's looking all golden. The go- can I call you the golden boy for today? Just for today? Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> so, well, welcome to my FM, man. Thank you very much, bro. Thank this is home. This is home for you. Let, let me just adjust the microphone a bit yes, for you. Yeah, yes, great, yes, great. Yes. Let um, me place this one somewhere in some yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's put all those ones aside. Guys, join us on Facebook, Y1079 FM. We're streaming live. You need to post it on Twitter. You need to post it on Twitter, yes. Yeah, straight up, straight yeah. up. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Guys, join in the conversation, man. If you have a question for Stone Boy, we have a part for that. Send it through. Ali Kim Priceless is uh, joining us on Facebook. I'll run through the guys joining us, but the entire BIM Nation oh. family is with us on Facebook this morning. But talk to me, sir. Hello, good morning to everybody. Good morning, Stone Boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Bro. Trust me. Trust me. I've wanted, I mean, ever since, I'm, I'm a big fan of the um, Wiley the, the Wiley the mm. Board series. And I, I mean, personally, I told you one that caught my attention and yes. got me watching over and over again was the one with Honorable Kennedy, Kennedy Japan. Japan. Yeah. It was really inspiring. Mm. It was, you know, it was deep. Trust mm. me, I took a lot of notes mm. from mm. that mm. interview. And hence, I've been tuned in and... You know, it's an honor to have me yeah. here, and I'm grateful. God you know. bless you so much for honor. I hope I speak as well. nothing but the truth. Oh, yes, so definitely do that. God. I mean, it's all <laughs> fandoms. You know, we need to go honor some blunt on everything. But uh, since you mentioned Honorable Kennedy Japan, today is his birthday, so his team is probably locked in. Yes. And yes. today is the birthday of um, uh, Mr. Macaulay yes, McDonald yes, as well. Yes, yes, And, you know, great people. Great, great people. Yeah, we yeah. saw the same. Yo, June, let, let, June, June bonds are great people. Great people, still, yeah, man. man. Let me take a moment to, I, I, I mean, acknowledge your greatness still. So the last year, YFM had the Y rated awards. Uh, we've been running it for two years, and uh, Stoneboy picked three awards. Uh, we've had the plaques here for a while because it was out of the country. Yes. But since it's here, um, <laughs> we might as well just present everything to the team. Please. Um, I have uh, the first plaque here, which is the award uh, Best Rated Dancehall Reggae Artist, uh-huh. Stoneboy for Everlasting. So this goes to the team. I think Abiola will receive it on his behalf. Oh, hey, let's do it. Thank uh, this you, is thank yours. You, this is the you, first thank one. You, thank you. Thank you. Um, wow. We'll deliver uh, an acceptance speech wow. right after. Wow. Best Rated Dancehall Reggae, Stoneboy, yes. Everlasting. And then I have another one in here for Best Rated Song, Stoneboy Nominate. Yes. Featuring oh. Kerry Hulson, this is yours as well. Hey. Another one. Another one. And wow. Uh, I have one here for best rated tape, Stoneboy yeah. Aloga Junction. Wow. Yes, so this is also yours. Why rated? I wow. mean, across wife and platforms, Kumasi, Accra, yeah. Takrade. Yeah. These yeah. are Thank the awards you, you picked from last wow. year. Thank um, you so very much. Everybody it, it, it clearly, it clearly yeah. tells us you're putting in so much work. And I mean, yeah. we're not saying this because you're here. We're a music station. We definitely know our Just business. Right. You have sure. really 
helped in raising the face of Ghana's music. And today we're here, I mean, just as you mentioned, to share the truths yeah. behind everything, behind your success. Yeah. And so in order to move other people forward, we need to let them know the deeds of your lifestyle. And so thank you so much once again for deciding thank to do this with us. Thank you very much for having us. me as well. And I'm grateful for the award. Like, Jano, I, 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 you know, there's only... A, I, yeah, man. <laughs> I get that. That's all I can say. Yeah, man. <laughs> I know I didn't say anything, but that's all I can say. The truth is, you know, I'm a workaholic, and mm. I just always want to continue to put in the work as mm. far as I'm concerned. That's it. Mm. So the rewards are going to be, like, enormous from different angles, not mm. only awards, mm. you know. So I'm very honored mm. to have, you know, won these. Great. Yes. Um, l let's start off our <clears throat> deep talks today. I mean, we're here for a purpose. I know a little bit of your life, but um, just like my listeners, we don't really know much about the details in how you got to where you are today. So I just wanted to start on this note. Let's say we're shooting a Stone Boy movie, mm -hmm. um, a movie about Stone Boy's life. First scene, where are we starting off from? I know definitely it's going to probably be in a shaman. When were you born? How was life like for you growing up in the shaman suburb? Hmm. Um, I grew up as one of the ordinary, you know, um, children mm. in Ashaiman, mm. starting from as far as I can remember, um, from Sikafo and Bantem, that I was told because I was really too small, and then we moved on to, you know, somewhere around official town, somewhere around, and then to, um, to um, Zone One, Lebanon, Zone One, and then finally to Zone Two. You know, so being an Ashaiman boy, I'm, mm. you know, I'm, I know all the ends. Mm. You know, so I grew up as one of those kids who attended um, government school okay. in Ashaiman. Okay. So I went through primary school in, mm. in government school number three, mm -hmm. you know, and then I moved from there after, after the third year. Mm -hmm. That's after class three. Mm. Then I moved to... Um, a private school in uh, in in Ashaiman. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, growing up around that time, where were your what were your childhood ambitions? I mean, um, you speak to people and mm. uh, they, they they had plans to become doctors and the like. So, what sphere <laughs> did you want to get into, career wise? Career wise, I had not. I mean, earlier earlier on, um, you know, we are still from. I was a child at the time, yeah. so I was just happy being a child mm. you know and i remember that when we we write school exams or end of term exams and walking from um government school assignment number three to mm -hmm. lebanon mm -hmm. zone one mm -hmm. you it's quite you know a walk you know and at that time everybody would know that school amakwine so when you're going home as a as a, as a child mm -hmm. and as a, as, a, as a young student, it will be to me for nothing. My mental results, <laughs> you know, yeah, it will be to me for because when you say school, some are quite normal. I will do my phone. So, yeah. anytime when somebody sees me, they're like, "Hey, who are you here for?" You know, and then you are happy. Yeah, you just walk on, and so I think I began to hear what I was going to be from people. Like mm. as in, they had their own plans. Yeah. Yeah. So they are bit my doctor, bit my lawyer, bit my say. But me and Cassandra, as a, as a young child, no, me then I go to school and me yeah, me born home more mm -hmm. than But after that, uh, you know, I think one thing I always dreamt of was because see our system, you go to school from when you are um, um, at age, whenever two, we go school sa GSS in kwa e be nine years, primary school e be classes GSS another three years, SS over twice or so. That whole time, you know, you go school and you are just trying to figure out what. Mm -hmm. You want to be mm. but my dream was to become like um like a, like an officer mm. that's what i dreamed of you know and like i know a, a lot of people may have military heard officer? Answer this. yeah military officer you know that's what i dreamed about mm. like dreams mm. you know you don't force dreams do you yeah, yeah so i am p teacher near the idea no it's like an army or a commander near p teacher no near there so mm. these were the that the, the dreams i, I had mm. so i didn't have any particular dream of becoming a stone boy, stone boy, mm. you know, neither, 
you know so that was it mm, that was just basically it that was just basically it. what were some of the things you you can really remember about growing up in a shaman um these days i mean you hear a lot mm. you and i know a lot of things that we hear i mean aside music that's what we see has it always been the case was it what you saw growing up um <clears throat> growing up in a shaman is, is, is the best thing i could ever imagine or could mm. have ever happened to me mm. because it's a combination of everything in life you're finding mm. over there from excuse me to say from poverty to mm. riches from yeah. ghettos to mm. you know all class of people yeah. live in Ashaiman as mm. we speak you know some of the most well-to-do people in Ghana Far and some of the poorest and all of that so a combination of all these I regard myself as a middle class mm. you know person where I, it was not durable, sir, but yeah. once, you, once you live in a Simon, mm -hmm. you feel it sometimes. Sometimes you can see that, you know, BBI okay, but she in if yes, sir, what I see. So I had the opportunity to, to grow from such a background where I think even my kids will not be privileged to enjoy that type of environment, you know. Mm. So a Simon really grew me up taught me all the things that I, th I think I know, mm. you know, so far. That, that's um, on a larger scale. That is a shaman um, at home, the home setting that you grew up in. Yeah. What sort of things in there influenced who you are, how your personality is now? Uh, you mentioned earlier that, you know, you had dreams of yeah. uh, becoming an army officer. Definitely discipline setting from that part. Yeah. But what are some of the things that you picked up from your home setting, things that still live with you till now? Yeah. Um, Charity, they say, begins at home, and mm. the home setting is a primary place, is, mm. a, is a core foundation of everybody's mm. um, being. So I'm actually thankful again that I grew up with my mother and my father and my sisters and brother. So it was a tight family. We all did everything as a family, and the morals and the discipline for my father, you know, as well as the love for my mother, you know, grew me up like this, you know, and now from a very from a very spiritual home, mm -hmm. you know, where we practice our spirituality through Christianity, then time there, you know, I grew up on the Bible a lot, you know, core. Core, like deep, yeah, deep rooted. Deep, deep, deep. Like, mm. you could be playing football and when your father comes, he say, hey, calls you in and it's a Bible. And it's, it's Bible <laughs> study, bro. Yeah, straight up. It's Bible study. Wow. If you have nothing to do, you better be reading some Bible and learning something. So I've been a fan of reading and learning you know even that has stuck with me mm. when we, we we all access the internet but when i'm on the internet i read different things yeah i'm not actually seeing you know sometimes we're all on there but i'm not <laughs> seeing what you are seeing exactly i'm act actually finding out finding, something yeah. so that's how i grew as a foundation mm. i was mm. I, you know i give I, I can't say too much but i know people can relate to such families where you know you guys are coming from zero zero and you have to be the one to make a change mm. so every time you have you don't have to waste it mm. you know you have to spend it wisely so that, that's it you know i've known you for a while and you are somebody that is super inclined when it comes to intuition you know there's been days sure. where the stone will be like okay nah let's not do it this way this is how i feel about it mm. um i was told somewhere along the line that uh, you were a twin yes we I plan am. On that. you I are mean, a twin yeah i am and so would you would you uh you know uh supports the notion that twins are super endowed the power of intuition is that where the intuition yeah, sense comes I mean, from yeah that's they're blessed you know mm. like every in our culture we understand that twins is that twins are a blessing mm. so you know every every individual is a blessing anyway children are blessing babies are blessings but when you get a double portion of that then mm. you know is a is a peculiar blessing mm. to that so that's how i think that it is mm. generally you so, so where's your other twin um, unfortunately, he passed, he passed when we were growing up, and mm. so, you know. Do, do you ever sit and ask yourself what would, what things would look like if, if <laughs> he was still around? Yeah, we are identical anyway, very mm. identical. So it's just it's just a double me. Probably so would have had the Stone Boy and and, and Stone Man. Basically, and it would have been Livingston and something else. I don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a story. May so rest in perfect peace. Yes, yes, um, yes, how, yes. How, how long has music been with you? Because... You've given me a, a fair idea of how growing up was like, you know, you things you learned uh, from uh, in a shaman home and all that. But the music element, what part does it come in? Was <laughs> there anybody in the house that was doing music before you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Far, far off, you know. Eh. 
uh, my talent may be pe is peculiar and unique, but I am definitely not the beginner of mm. this in my family. Because mm -hmm. uh, we trace it back into my father telling me is my great grand my great grandmother mm -hmm. was one um, like a custodian of mm -hmm. of music in the in the traditional settings. So that is where they trace it to, you know, and hence it has it has it has it has flown in in in, in us or. I've had my cousins who are, you know, a cousin of mine is into the media. Like from time, from time. It's been with you guys, yeah. It's yeah. been with us from day. Bro, even my daughter can sing a freestyle yeah, yeah. right now. <laughs> so it's in there. It's just know. in there, flowing through the family. Anyways, uh, moving on to the next thing, um, another big phase in your life um, from the research I did was your time in uh, Methodist uh, Senior High School. Yeah. <laughs> um, was that the point? Can we fairly say that was a point? The entertainment spirits <laughs> literally no, no, just showed up. No, 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 no. Me, I've been singing from time. I've been singing. Look, I would, uh, I've been singing from when I was a, bit, a child. Mm. Child, you know, a child in the church because my father was sort of an elder. So there was responsibility on the elders, mm -hmm. on the elder of the church's kids. You know what I mean? So yeah, you have to do something. I'm reading there. the Bible. I'm teaching the Bible. I'm, I'm singing music. I'm leading the choir. I'm, lead, I'm leading the children's choir. Yeah. I'm part of the youth choir when we grow up. So. You know what I mean? Like I've been doing music all my life. And at home and at home I'll be that guy who entertains everybody, everybody till he falls asleep. So that's what that has been with me from even when I was in primary school. Like mm -hmm. from when I went, well, when I was in class five, I actually wrote a poem and a play for the whole school to act for speech and speech um Finally, speech and yeah. prize giving day. Mm. You find me doing all these things, mm. I'll I'll read, I'll do some speech, I'll act. Multi talented I'll, guy. Uh, you know, I'll do taekwondo, I'll I was run athletics. I, it just that guy is everywhere. Mm, you did you all know, of that's that. That's the stuff. kind of first thing I And that, and that was I, the same spirit you carried through senior high school. Exactly. Right? So same spirit same spirit from mm. from so i was being a music has been with me and i've been singing from mm. time i've been composing music when i was from when i was in class five mm. you know so i think there's a picture of mine online also <laughs> <laughs> it's me and my squad like mm -hmm. i had a group in, you know them one day so i've been at this so point. but the performance thing for the music style you have now clearly sort of like had its you know strong grounds from mm. senior high school Yes, but when I was going to senior high school, yes, for you sure. Like, I had to sit in class once upon a time in senior high school one and decide. Mm. I remember that, that day vividly. Like, it was after an examination or a quiet time, a quiet mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. Somehow, mm -hmm. one teacher missed the period. And I just had the opportunity to think so deep. And I'm like, okay, so from here, where will they go? Mm. Where will they go? I'm like, all right. So I actually so searched, honestly speaking, mm. and I remember this to, 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 to today. I was wondering why that didn't happen probably at home or somewhere, yeah. but in class. In class, yeah. Bro, it was like I zoned out, and for that level, I can still remember it. Mm. I zoned out, and I was like, okay, look, I, I ended up this? saying I have to take this serious. Mm. Because I thought like, okay, so after school, what's up? Considering my current situation, that's why I'm somebody who actually, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm so much of a realist, bro. Mm. You don't fantasize too much. You mm. consider your current situation and apply, mm. and apply what you have to apply. Don't don't overthink. Mm. So consider my current situation of someone who's you know things were not going on well at all at the time, you know. And I'm like, okay, fine. At the end of um, 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 senior high school, I knew there was no one to pay my fees yeah. and push me up on the education ladder. So I had that thought like three years. I was in SS one, so I'm like, okay, so you're in school now, live here. And I'm like, right, cool, I might just take my music serious. So right from senior high school one, bro. And it's now when I came to school. And I was bubbling still because yeah. I was doing this from right primary school, yeah. JSS. So, so you, you have, the, have, you have your, the vibe, yeah. You have your vibes, you have your mm, squad, mm, you have mm, your mm, classmates, mm, you have people who knew you in the area. Mm. You know, that type of guy. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I, I got the opportunity as well. I think it was before then I got the opportunity to... Um, go to Adom FM that okay. first year okay. where they had the Kasahari yeah, yeah. going on every time. Yeah. So that was it. A friend of mine would Bolaski, Bolaski, I remember his name, Bolaski, I've forgotten his government name. He would force me sir, and say, yo, but you the way you be tight like this. For good. Because we go beat decks, I go rap, I go raga, mm, I go mm, sing, mm. Charlie, you forgo that program. I'm like, yo, by yourself, you know, see, and I was not really so me, I just chose. So guess what he did? I think he managed to he forced her, we, what happened, we say, 
Long story short, he, we were here mm. one Saturday with the Adum FM. The line was like 50 boys, 60 boys. Mm. And my condition, I was had to work with an aide. Yeah, yeah, aid. So I had a walking that, yeah. stick. I think I had my clutches mm -hmm. or something. Because mm -hmm. I sometimes I went to school because mm -hmm. of my situation. So I was like, oh, okay. So the guy look, ah, you see that one way they hold some clutch way. That be Duncan. You say you come. Mm. And when they call you say come when you pass through that first door, second door into the studio, first door here, second and third door into the studio, bro. Your adrenaline, they, they, they yeah. rise from the time you they walk you through did, the hallway you did, you did the, yeah. to when you get to the second door. The, the first door be the security. Yeah. And boys stay there like mm. 50, 25, there about. So if he call you like that, he comes and picks at random. Mm. Come, come, come. And then you know, say, this is your opportunity to... For you to shine. Bro, if you fail, no, that be young because boys plenty. So man puts me through, puts me through. So when I got on the thing, it's like, yo. Good day here. Um, you, what be your name? So my name is Stone. Say no, say Livingstone. So yeah. everybody called me Stone. Yeah. I said my name is Stone. You the rapper, you the raga, or you the singer. So me had a few do or anything. Mm. You give me the we Cause that time we have some rap bars. We have everything set. You know, cause we knew that from primary. Yeah, so yeah, me, yeah. my qualified. I mean, I'm yeah. So he opened one beat, bro. Okay, so when I said I did raga, he paid some rappers, and there was no one to raga. So there was one guy be coincidentally to the raga guy. Mm -hmm. If his name is not. Toba Doneja, then must be some other name. Toba I remember, Doneja. yeah, I remember <laughs> pa, because the raga, the name for heavy. Yeah, see if you be raga, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Signs, <laughs> like they hear Bujubanti, Kepo Tansi, Lakalonji. It be raga reggae artists where they go feel have full name. Mm. Where one of the names have no be their real name. Mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go find out say their real name, their real name. So heavy yeah. name, bro. And I was shot like that. The guy talk. So the power self he gave me a hot day inside. Mm. Where they just put us on the thing, bro. That was it for me. Do you remember the lines? Do you remember the raga? Bro, you the lines here. Yeah. Then I get plenty bars, but uh, honestly, uh, I know they remember. So I fired them, but then I be freestylist too. Yeah. Wow. So that was my key. So I defeat spell the guy head to toe as he <laughs> did uh, as the thing to go on. So that was when I got my break. So it was mm. Duncan at the time. So when I said stone, he said, ah. Okay, so there's one stone, and when it turns on the mic like that and it goes on air, mm -hmm. bro, that time social media no get no to media, you. YouTube yeah. self no really, but yeah. so that was the whole mm -hmm. media. So once you open the mic like that, way you say, we have one stone boy in the house. That's how I became stone boy till now. Wow. He added the boy so because you of the stone. raga vibe. Me, I was stone. And, and we had stone, just one stone, stone, stone boy. Stone, because stone. you did raga, he added the uh -huh. boy. So you say one stone boy, root boy styling, you know, Nadi Nadi, mm. Dr. Mm. Dan, you know, <laughs> you know the vibe. Dr. Dan can understand. So, so that was where wow. my man went on with stone boy. Stone boy. And so you left you left the place with a different personality. Not a different personality. Yeah. And I'm a lifted personality. Yes, That's why I consider my journey as, as divine, you know. Mm. <laughs> It's highly divine, and I'm thankful every time. That's why I bless His Imperial Majesty every time. King Game. of Kings, Lord of Lords. You know, every minute He's with me, He's with us. He chooses our path, and you know, once you yourself, you jack up yourself. You know, if you understand yourself, and Ganj will tell you, me, I jack up myself. <laughs> no be today. No be today. <laughs> that way, when I hear for a year, I did, I did, <laughs> <You're the job. laughs> that my favorite song. <laughs> it was so wow, but yeah. but then I mean, all these were happening. You were still getting Yo. signs that music was the thing for you. Yeah, you guys because were I realized that. that everything else was taken away from me mm. apart from music, bro. Trust me, like, guess what? Uh, after my accident, I was supposed to be at home for a while. But I say no, I can't do that because I even wrote my BEC whilst I was in the hospital. I was supposed to write my BEC in the hospital. So my year group, which was 2003 year group from BEC, like, they, I couldn't write it. I was heartbroken because now you're more. Uh, so I wrote with the 2004 year group. You wrote a year after. But I didn't go to school the whole year. Mm. And I came up tops. So uh, amongst the whole school. Not, not to catch you or anything, but then, I mean, I've heard bits and bits of you know what happened what brought about the accident and all that yeah um for the sake of my first time listeners yeah what happened it was there's uh, god it was a regular motor accident or lo lorry accident for instance god um may I so rest in peace same one that happened to ebony and then you know it's mm. road accident mm. it kills people every day mm. people are dying mm. of it every day mm. except for the fact that if maybe God bless and you are a name. When it happens to you, it becomes like, oh. Yeah, it becomes news. But it's something that happens on the regular. And we should, I think that, you know, it's sad. So um, I was going from Accra back to Ashaiman on a lovely Sunday. 
I remember the date well, 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 like that. I had a football match later because I played football. Yes. Also. Like, I was that kid who did everything. You played football like everything, you were the entertainment he did inside. Everything, like a Samoa <laughs> <laughs> hey, Everything. So, so, that evening, I think, I remember why. Then my mommy cooked wow. rice and beans. When I like watching and rice and beans, wow. so, you know what? I paused my own. I said, hey, this watch here, it'll be last hour I'll go kill her. Mm. I never had the watch it till today. Wow. <laughs> so, I, I packed the watch down. So at the goal comes, I followed my dad. It was my dad and you know, my sisters and everything. So we Sunday we saw we the go church, but the church says today they will follow the old man. So he say they go a crack comes. Mm -hmm. I know go 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 visit the uncle. So now our way back, that was my last man. That was the last time I I was well well like go oh, like you know mm -hmm. you know. And on our way back, the police car be a so policeman be a so police whatever. Oh. And uh, that's what came to hit mm. our mm. car. So my son was actually caused by the state. The state. You know, and the state had done nothing zero. about it. I mean, that's the reality. And uh, uh, I mean, that's, that's it. So, you know, uh, the pe how, how was the recovery like for you psychologically? It was tough. It was tough. It this was, was, this was, was a boy tough. that had a lot of, you tough, know, tough, talents. Tough. This is a 13 year old boy who had, on top of it, won a visa lottery. And was about say. to go to Yankee. I swear down on my mom's grave, bro. I mean, this is, we're having a, 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 yeah. a chat, you feel me? And that just happened along the way. So I had to be at a hospital. Look, I, sat, I slept on my back for two months. So I got bed, bed, bed sore, mm. you know, like, wow. I was the, I was the smallest and then the accident center ward in Kolebu. That's why once one, one time I went to do d donations and paid some some hospital bills like I always do with the foundation. Most of it on the low. You know, I faced a tough time in the hospital. Like there you are, all you have is your mother mm -hmm. who would come and sleep on the floor through the whole six months in Kolebu where you came at the mercy of people who saw a very young handsome boy amongst el elderly people and say ah hey you have to say, you, have to say, ah, you know because you can't see anything up our body mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's my knee is yeah. fucked so you they, they they engage you and they hear one smart little chap mm -hmm. i remember the connection man who was fixing our visa lottery told me called my father and said hey what about you if i see you as why nanny signature <laughs> at this age, you know, at 13 years, you, you, you signed an adult signature. I swear down. I swear off the same class. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, you know, so I would go through that phase. And also, I was going to write my BC. So the whole thing for a small boy, everything, they just crashed. And my mom was doing the most she could to get me to write it. Mm -hmm. And this is a trader who, you know, Chinookon, can you hear me raise? I don't have to call you, Charlie. I don't come and cry to come and to you. Allow me. So I can't wait to see you. And to see that, you know, and my sisters were supportive. You feel me? Like, that's the real story. So psychologically, it wasn't easy for me as a young boy. Now coming out of that to also continue life as somebody who, you know, I'm, when it comes to being active, I, I was super active. You were I was not like mm, a dull mm, kid, mm. like, so I faced it. Now having to accept the, the, rea that, the yeah. reality that, bros, you can't run. You can't be active like you used you to. You can't hurt. <laughs> it. And for a long time, mm. bro. Stayed with you for a while. And you're going to be at the ridicule of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But those who know you know you. They yeah. know, yo, shit. I mean, stuff happened. Mm. And then mm. that is why you're here. Right, right, right. And the healing process and the recovery process and everything. I had surgery with metal plates inside my knee everything pins and that i had to go with it for a very long time yo when i step i stepped on so i yo I, it was not easy for me like a small a shy man boy growing up and i had to hustle through that as well you feel me because you had to so that's how i told my mom look i don't want to be at home i still want to go to school because mm -hmm. there's a twice so precum because ocha are trending mm -hmm. so now you cannot imagine the hustle from having to so guess what the schools i chose I chose um, where, 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 um, 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 Laboni's secondary school was one of my choices, and I got it. 
because I don't want to go too far. I want to stay within Accra. So now I couldn't attend any of those schools on boarding because of my situation. Yeah. Anyway. Nobody was going to care for, mm. you know. And then we had to now find schools. So I did uh, we, my Padibi way finished before because my year mate, mm -hmm. because me, I came out the next year because mm -hmm. of, you no. Know, mm -hmm. he connected me, so in you know, school self, me, that's the year, you know, thing they go, I said, all right, I'll come check the headmaster. So my big sister and I went through there. When we got there, the people where them choose the school way they take them all be grade no more and be forty, fifty. Just say, oh my it's the headmaster no maybe the two on a no no see what? Now woof me and move out me to wow. me. And I'm me such and so but another thing. Nah, I meow. It's me and I'm copying the admission. It's yeah, not yeah. like say And this is what, age fifteen? Yeah, this is fourteen. Fourteen. And let me tell you, say, officer, say, say, you know, I have another problem. I can't wear shorts because my knee mm -hmm. is enemy me each and I say, hey. And I say, okay, fine, you can go on and wear trousers. So the whole of Methodist Day Secondary School was only one whole Because like the beginning, junior could wear shorts <laughs> yeah, and then you yeah, reach the top. Yeah, huh? but I know, that one said, you know, they made us like that. Mm. So, me, I wore trousers. So I think for the whole three years, some people think, say, they are the land mechanic. They think, the they don't know, like say... No, so my area would say, and they learn some something. Because this one, I don't be school be that. Bad be. Because the uniform be like, maybe has some blue and some yeah. light green. Yeah. I say, yeah, I say, you they learn some. You, some, you they learn some symptoms. Some apprentices <laughs> on one side. <laughs> wow. So, after I finish SSF, some people don't say, uh, but you see, I think I doubled up a character. Where, when you saw me, I had people who walked to me, and all the time from 2014 when I had the opportunity on radio, I was a different person, and I, I think I managed it that way. Mm. I was not stone boy to the public. They were looking for stone boy. Because they, they see me and they didn't know what, I would deny everything I was stone boy. So st on radio, the new one, stone boy, was a freaking ragged mm. gem. Mm. But outside, they're looking for stone boy. And I'll come and join the conversations of who stone boy is, and no, I'll walk off nicely. And that's how I kept me through the whole. But the third year, no, mm -hmm. the teacher be catch me where he say hey, you, because <laughs> I wanted to actually keep my whole year mm -hmm. on the same block because mm -hmm. of my situation, yeah. you know, like, you know, the fee. And the guy go bring my secrets. Say, hey, this guy, you put on him, no. He no. be in the stone boy, no. Wow. He say I lose God where I perform for one carnival. <laughs> that where my hour open. So they say you go go. You see the third floor. Mm -hmm. You climb up like that. No. So imagine Charlie Stephen and the hustle mm. to climb these things. So I did that for a whole third year, and I think sad to say my core friend, two of them, one is dead. Me, so rest in peace. He used to help me a lot. Like you know, irrespective, I was able to manage my ways out, and here we are today. You know, bro, this this is definitely a <laughs> tough journey. I mean, for a young guy somebody your age you know having to go through this not to say family neglected you whatsoever no, no, but then no, you no. took charge of all. your life mm -hmm. um along this time i mean music had still been a thing for you uh, what i want to find out is during that period you what kind of inspiration for songs do you have what kind of song do you remember i'm just sitting well, here trying to zone into uh, Rasta, we say, say the Abra Bona one farm a jaja, we be a new one Joe, farm a jaja. And I was there, say, yeah. <laughs> Yo, and also from a Christian background too. Yeah. So uh, you got more, you know. Let me keep the idea as the same crack crack crack. But I was say, yeah, ni pan kasa say be a bit bit too wana. We do hunt chilling a bit more. Say I say kuya. Now we. What you you want to say? My mama me rain fi. Eh. So I was listening to a lot of reggae music. Mm -hmm. pop music, you know, where you go uplift your soul and a lot, lot, lot more. So I think that's what built my consciousness. But I'm trying, okay, so that was that period, listening to conscious reggae music and that. But I want to find the zone where things switch because you grew up in a highly Christian home. Mm. I mean, you were actively involved <laughs> in the, yeah, you were yeah, actively yeah, involved in the sure. Christian service at, at church, yeah, you know, singing yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. But then why didn't it, you know, continue. Continue to, yeah, continue. why didn't you carry on with that? Yeah. Where did reggae and wow, that rooted deep. stuff come in? That's deep. Um, bro, that's deep. I think I'll just summarize it somehow. Um, you see, along the way, when the anchor of the home actually loses grip, if you realize that now there's a need for survival, mm. you know, so, so everybody would have to build on what little foundation they have mm -hmm. to add on. 
So just to you know, just to wrap it up in, uh, you know, an uncle of the home is a is a is a man, is yeah. a father. So he was a bit, you know, he was just going through a certain phase yeah. at that time. So that was what it was, and I realized that listen, I was getting, I was learning as well. So I was getting, I was learning life. So I was yeah. getting wiser and wiser. So I was sort of like, um, I just wanted to explore outside of the whole Christian box, mm. you know, and to feel a bit more free. Free, you know, free and all of that. So, I think that was what informed my step out. Plus the hustle itself, because there was honestly nothing for me in the church no more. Most of the um, friends that I was going to the church with and all, they would see me, and uh, my I've let my hair, you know, like you know, you switch. I get it. So then when they see you, so I even had one of the prime um, the teachers, the Sunday school teachers, when she, she sees me, when I see I'm a for dodge. Because when uh, she see me, she go cry. Uh, yeah. I say, oh, now why you say, no, what say you? Wow. What brother, what say? Me, I, there, there. Oh. And I know, so no. Ne ba no so cry, I'm robber. Ne ba no, me ne na, me boni di, may so rest in peace. Wow. It is, as a angel, I have a teaching. Do do wanna go jail, ne, I, there, there. Oh, me, I, me, belly, belly, be, ne, I, there. You know, as time went, so be, ne, a long sentence is, ne, I, there, you know. Later, later, you yeah, be free money out there, but that be the way, way, you know. So, honestly, then me, I'll be stubborn. Wow, <laughs> no be joke. Trust me, I'm, I'm just seeing a totally different stone boy now. I swear, you know. I mean, it's a deeper connection, yes. For the question you answer, where you they ask, me, <laughs> so I miss if I did try make and no make them too, too because, deep, right? because the rest could be my book inside. Uh, you have a book coming up, yeah. Okay, so with the manager, may they get ginger. So, you know, be easy for me at all. So we hit the street proper. So when the madam see me like that, then she they cry because mm. the switch had happened. Yeah. But I was the only one who was seen beyond mm. that switch. But I knew they would understand mm. one day. And the only person who I explained anything to at any point that was my mother. All I needed was for her to be aware of the mm. situation. What, this is what's going to happen. Anybody now. else, mm. I'm sorry, I don't have to explain anything to so when she is cool, I'm cool. This was the reaction you got from people at church, um, Sunday school people mm. and that. But what was the reaction you got from home? Your sisters, your your mom, you, oh, you mentioned that you had to explain to them. Them, they know where I go out. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, because, you know, say, at home, we all even know each other's potential. Yeah. So me, they knew that the music was there, and if now I'm hustling the music, mm. All they can do is give me full support. I remember any time I went on a Dome FM, because it's voting and stuff, my sisters would pick um, a charcoal and be marking, marking the cards. So when they I don't come do home, you. they tell me, yeah, 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 you, this is, you actually won. And this was like they were keeping, uh -huh. you know. And one thing I have to say is that they've never stopped praying for me, you know, from mm. time, you mm. know. Like they've always prayed for me, always been praying for me till today right to this mo bro so you can't judge a book by the cover mm. you feel me because and i'm really grateful i'm really grateful you know, for so my sisters were of support my brother was a small boy at the time anyway. yeah so we they they, they really the support mm. you know now so through that phase um what what kept you and nonetheless some other area people as well you know it's been a while yeah, like, yeah, i can't yeah. remember everybody but yeah. there were some other area brothers that were like my my big my mm. big brothers mm -hmm. who always pick you up. my back mm. yeah yeah mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. very 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 you know who what were the figures um back then in your life that inspired you to do more and so uh, growing up personally I mean, there was an uncle of mine that was in radio. Mm -hmm. he, he was Doctor Who. Back then, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm close from school. Three o'clock, he's doing the drive time. And yeah. the Maddox BC, I hear my uncle in voice on radio. Wow. You know? Um, and there was this man that used to ride mm -hmm. motorbikes in the army mm -hmm. school I went to. He was one of those yeah. keche keche people. So yeah. I love those two figures. Yes. I definitely wanted to be like them. Did you have any figures like that? People you wanted to be like? Yeah, not necessarily be like, but they did stuff that we always mm. want me to be around them because that's how I. So I remember, um, 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 well, and they have to remember his name. Um, I remember it. No My problem. cousin definitely, mm -hmm. Adam Fui, my, my uncle passed away. Yeah. He's going to be buried next week. So rest in peace. He, they came back from Nigeria and Kazo, he came with a computer and was playing Mr. Raga Raga. Hey. So, ah, 
every time the guy they beat Shaggy, they beat so that that one self be the foundation mm -hmm. of my raga. Mm. That was because I was you know that time would be small. Yeah. I was I must have been around ten mm. at the time. So we when they came from Nigeria to relocate, ah, computer is crying and my dad also got us a computer anyway, so um he would play all the select like he's like yeah. yo he 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 played beats and all of that like he yo he also loved the something so then i was caught to very close to him so every time when i'm not home and i'm not hustling around i'm always close to that's from the family side and then another 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 full and they have to remember him now yo him he is actually somebody who took me in as a friend mm -hmm. from Snooky. His name is Aaron Snooky. Okay. Snooky is a, he did a song with uh, Kunti Hine. He's been in the scene for a while. For a while. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And I think there was a part of him that never really got to shine. Shine, yeah. Which, which is, because any time I heard him, I heard him sing so beautifully like mm -hmm. Jackie also. Even in the area, they were the brothers on the, on the, on the they, scene. They had the turf. They yeah. had the turf. And yeah. I was like looking up to, wow, mm -hmm. him... Um, oh, him and the, 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 they had a clan called the L.A. clan. Okay. I think I'm saying this for the first time on radio. So he was part of the clan. And there were some brothers, Atu, Atu mm -hmm. Mills, big up herself today, okay. today, today. We still vibe and link, you know. And Atu Mills will come in from time to time. You know, that's like in, uh, mm -hmm. that, that Shaman journey yeah. proper. So these were the people, you go to school, you come, you hustle mm -hmm. them. Were the ones who you they shaped things. and the whole Ashima knew them as some type of different squad mm -hmm. because if you go see if them go braid braid in my hair and the things and wear some slippers and socks they, they show you Yankee yeah you understand so I got drawn to those people and Snooky per se he was the one that I go always I remember going to space to space to go and call him say bro what's up you know and I wanted to always hang with him D did you ever come across a moment where Things got so tough. I mean, your hustling days, things got so tough. You felt like this music thing, crap. Uh, you know, because you mentioned that a mm. few friends fell off along the mm. line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Did you sure. never get to a point where you felt like you had to choose something deeper between the necessary and evil? That's why my album was called Necessary Evil. You know, but that on the side, bro, there was nothing else for me but music. It was clear, it was obvious. So I never, for once, ever f felt like, yo, this music shit won't work. Because there was a passion anyway. Mm. It gave me an avenue to let out. Mm. So the core of me even recording was to hear myself and play at home. Mm. And it was like a getaway for me from everything. And I did it with all my, oh, so until when the realization came at the point where I said I was in class one time mm, and I yeah. realized that, okay, that was an SS one. So way before that, mm. three years down the line was JSS, mm -hmm. way before primary. I was doing JSS. We, we were recording songs already mm -hmm. because we got computer, we got that computer mic, we mm -hmm. got sample some Sean Paul Bigby from one side and put them for the recorder inside. So I had one track. I'm busted tuned at that. Yeah, yeah, busted tuned and I <laughs> yeah, and then my cousin as well. We we call the studio bedside studios. Mm -hmm. My auntie never liked us to sing anyway. So when they come, then we we'll log off their thing and we say we they learn computer, you know, something nice, mm -hmm. you know. But, <laughs> but we they we be the music we they do we they boss up. You understand? So there was that the passion was there. There was no minute where I even felt like the music there no go work because mm -hmm. everything else was gone but for mm -hmm. the music. So okay. I had to make it. You work. had to make it work. And so it moves me to my next question. At what point did it work for you? You mentioned your Dom FM days. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned your friends jacking you up to do it. Mm -hmm. At what point? I mean, I don't want us to go too deep into the music hustling side because mm -hmm. that side has mm -hmm. its own sides. Yes, please. But at what point did you realize, okay, Asha Sefa? What point? Um, okay. As in, I shall see a far on a on a on a on a career. No. Yes, I shall see a far. Like things are. You see, you mentioned earlier that things will make sense. It will make sense to people. It will make sense to yourself. Mm. You believed in something you had not seen, mm -hmm. yet you were still following through the process. Yeah. At what point did you come into terms with the fact that no, I don't know, a a befa? Like okay, you started mehune, seeing signs. Okay, mehune say, uh, okay, a befa to the say a far for career level, no. Mm. Uh, yeah, after me call Adum FM no and then Omeji me two more outside no so mm. 
Papa Bills came back and said, mm. Yo, yeah, every weekend, bro, I would have friends in bro. Mm. So Papa Bills was my, it was like the pro he produced the show, mm. if I'm not if mm. I'm not lying. So I had the producer who liked me. So in the end, he always fixed me in and gave me an opportunity mm. to, to, to do what I did. So during that period, I was in SS1, SS1 student. So I was just doing it because, okay, I have for you do. Yeah. Into yen yen year was outside now. Into yen yen years and sometimes when we finish two way with the goa, then Dr. Duncan will give us some cool mm. some fifty CD, fifty mm. CD. At that time the fifty CD note is big. Five hundred thousand. So when I take that fifty CD go yada, that be my whole week school mm. be that. Yeah, and so, so imagine me a Saturday fan no. Yeah, maybe be a quiet anyhow. Into school I eh kono kwa na ita ye kobo. Raga 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 na say hey, hey, programmer. Na boss am my baby kakra mm -hmm. na and on a hey, this will be you know school level. So I found no I found no until you say me base school or na me yeah jungle my black raster money at the black raster so far it is any bar you know after we met and I think the radio side gave me a lot of exposure okay, because yeah. I don't know I quest the social media mm -hmm. at that time no into one more mini mini but now I'm imposing to say me on the public that for, yeah. for real, for real. Now I'm imposing, me do my bar. So that's how serious I've taken it till now. Mm. So you, you go realize, say, I am still not the type that I say me performs no. Mm -hmm. You like the word. I, I say oh, performs now for now. We say now cast up beside beside just because of into the man to me and cause outside you know. Hey, into me they make me remain in work you know because. Hey, baby, now who do you? That's yeah. what you have to do. This yeah. is what you have now. Until yeah. we are, you leave it there. We could feel so hard. We could feel fear there. It's Anna. The boss of Moses now. I started it for. Once I didn't say, say me base quoi. Now make it a extra T-shirt, extra. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you no, know, I don't hear intense you no. Know, me base school now me do get a. Say almost I'm a me leniency mm -hmm. because I'm a special yeah. student. Until me use leniency you no. Know, Edit try other hustle you no. Know, into me, you say, let it mass near your I can't I'm saying, no, guy, we're there, no, we dear, no person. Okay, no. That's my family bag. My bag, also a raster bag. Also, school, no, I'm on my uniform. Yeah, yeah, my uniform. Uniform, no, my, you know. Uh, you can't say, uh, be, be, be uniform, I'm a ceremonial uniform, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The top of Mali flag, no. And I'm a trial ceremonial, and I say, two. Yeah. Into me, I'm back home. Back and I'm back home, I'm a trial side bag, into me. Mm -hmm. I'm a trial side bag, and I'm a trotro inscriptions. I'm a chant, a chant, a chant, a chant. I forget. In the bag, I see a a bar. Now walk in this way, unique. In the C school, no matter bar, me find the tortoise level. Slow, but I do no slow, but me I'm control gang. Me na, yeah, 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 yeah. But me I'm pointing to God, that's what I you say. Because me, what time I made the journey? Now my friend say, I mean, it's real. This yeah. was something I told myself that, bro, if, bro, if you can run, mm -hmm. you have to crawl. If you can crawl, yeah. you know, but I knew there was a deficiency. Mm. People couldn't think enough. Mm. So me, I was their headquarters. Mm. Headquarters. Bro, you had time to think. I was the headquarters. So them be the action on the turf, bro. Not even a, a mosquito could sting me. <laughs> because the army big, it big, it mad. <laughs> yeah, from streets yeah. everywhere. So to continue your best school and your train, me to me first school no say me firm. School no bar me to me firm. Me do get na na my nantia copin war no na my free pee. Wow. And your firm no no me free pee a bar na me na my studio be na my chin. Say me she trousers at that. But I want say na me wo loafers be. But loafers no and when your guy me to na my born all star. Bro, so how how did uh, the exposure you gained from the release of your first single, Climax? Um, I remember featuring. Who tell you say that was my first single? 
the one I know. Uh -huh. yes. I mean, the one saying. I know. I'm yes. And and I'm particular about that particular one because that's when I started, you know, yeah. zooming around. I grew up in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. Yes, me in the Kumasi side now, Michelle. I be a lot better family for Kumasi in the background. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so I mean around that, I mean exposure again from that. Mm -hmm. Um climax uh, featuring yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Samini and of course Get to Love featuring Iron Logan help propel your debut album, Grade One album. Mm. How, how did things change for you after those ones? Because honestly, I don't know how to the radio, so That's you know, it. ain't the kind of airplay. Yes. And, and, and I brought this one up because one yeah. of my bosses uh, quickly just reminded me, and see, I had yeah. to just put that question in. Her name yeah. is Nosi Sado, yeah. and I say, uh, do say hi to Stoneboy for me and tell him it's Nusisa, the head of ETV Ghana from Zimbabwe, yes, the woman with the dreadlocks. Yes, 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 we first friend, met in 2013 when the late Night Celebrity Show yes, got heated with, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, and yes. And I watched yes, that interview. Yes, yes, you remember yes, I told you? Yes, yes, yes. That was yes, the first yes. TV interview I'd seen of you. I'm yes. like, who's this guy? Yes, yes, I, mean, I remember. And then I started hearing the buzz and that. How did things change for you? How, in your definition, how did those two, mm. you know, joints and the kind of exposure it gave you propel you to who you became after that all right um truth as it be that uh, irene logan song big respect to um tony and samini mm -hmm. being the owner of samini music mm -hmm. you know and at that at that point tony you know made sure that you know that um that song was done i remember that I spent a, lo a lot, some a majority of the time too with him. So, you know, he would make a few calls, and I know that he placed that Irene Logan feature. And then uh, the climax feature was by virtue of me being, you know, um, say a member of the high grade family yeah. at the time. So, you know, something had to be done, and I was about to release my album. So, big man put up, you know, his voice on that. But I remember JMJ and I would always be in the studio plotting the mastermind, mm -hmm. you know, of most of these songs. Because, I mean, as a studio rat, you're always there to give some ideas. And I think I've been good at um, adding on, you know, everywhere I go, bro, I add up a lot to yeah. We, we, we he, Jay will tell you, with me and Jay still vibe. He knows my input when it comes to the technical ear and mm -hmm. let's do it this way, let's sample it this way, let's so that was how come I think we even because he produced both songs, mm -hmm. so that was how he also comes and stone. This is what I think I have for you. So we created those two masterpieces by the blessings of um, um, um Samini at the, at the time, yeah, he shone some light on that yeah. for us and then. You know, it took it took it took off, and I think that it was nice because everybody was like, "Oh, that's your small boy, the four so and that adds a lot of glory to, mm. you know, somebody who who's already in the scene. Yeah. So that was the levels was at the, the level time. And the after the album, you know, full speed, you know, I had to keep running, keep running. And during that album, uh, that grade one album too. I mean, I had to make sure you did a lot for yourself as well. Mm -hmm. But you know. It's, it's by virtue of, um, 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 of, 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 of hard work and certain levels of exposure giving or added to. So I'm forever grateful for that level because I understand things differently on that path. Yeah, yeah. But I also nonetheless have to do majority of the work also. Mm -hmm. so that it goes well because in the end it's my career you know it's yeah. me yeah. so you, you, you cannot expect that you cannot expect that <coughs> you'll be spoon fed with things you know yeah you pretty much just took charge of your own career from time you you didn't want to go through the usual you're there you have access from time push go here go here you from you no, knew no, where no, you were going no, there was no access bro mm, mm. there was no access like that bro you had to you had to leave on off of you know what they bring onto your table, mm. but you have to make the most out of it. Mm. You know, and the luck is that I've been grinding before, and that was a huge experience for me as mm. well. Mm. And so moving on has been difficult, yeah. but it wasn't out of way for me as a, as a as a as a sufferer. Yeah, you know, yeah. It makes it, make, it makes perfect sense. One other thing I wanted to talk about is the Necessary Evil album, right? Um, it was released in 2014. Yeah. I remember it received, I think, three awards, three Ghana Music Awards uh, from six nominations. I have six nominations, but three came out. Um, what do you put the success? Because honestly, if you ask me, 
that album was super successful. Mm. Uh, we'll get into the real details, mm. you know, to it. But it was super successful. But what, what in your opinion, um, should we attribute the success of that album to beyond your hard work? Yeah, we just give it to God because I am on things, you know. Things don't run God, you know, I am. So irrespective of human efforts, we still have to understand that, you know, it's God because our hearts beat and he gives us the mental capacity, the strength, the energy to mm -hmm. do this thing. So aside attributing it to our individual hard works, I think that I'll just go straight to the to the, to the most high. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And big respect to everybody involved in great um, necessary evil album, um, um Dake, you know, me and him actually back and forth in the studio, right, 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 right. yo, that was that was me still fine-tuning my team mm. and still pushing. And the thing is, I've had a lot of experience on the road from time. Mm -hmm. So many of the things I did for myself, by myself, you know, but it was fronted. So a lot of people didn't know. You know, by school, it's not my one man can't run the whole thing. What matters is the army in the mind, you know. I mean, you just mentioned something I was going to keep for later, but that makes, since you've touched on it, let's go back to it. What, what makes... What makes a great team for an artist? I mean, for the sake of people coming up? <clears throat> yeah, you have uh, to have a direction. I believe so as an artist. Okay. You have to have a direction. And because it actually starts with you and ends with you and depends on you most often, you know, not to say that, guess what? Even if it depends on you 90 mm -hmm. and there's two, one, four, five coming in to make it 100, yeah. you know, it's equally vital those other minor points mm. because if they weren't vital you could have had it all as well true and as much as you having all 90 in case even if you know mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you have to look down and disrespect the other points that come in yeah. so to form a great team is just a combination of you knowing your direction mm -hmm. and having people who equally share in that in that light mm -hmm. you know you would hardly find people who are there for the growth of it all but for themselves yeah so you realize even sometimes it it it, 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 it shifts you know the paradigm shifts when sometimes it starts on a very honest and loyal yeah, grounds and, and then inside somewhere it switches but it's still camouflaged with that loyalty you know and it becomes naturally the need of the leader but that is what we face in this place that's why i'm mentioning it that's how come you realize that um it's not easy to form a great team around you you know there are definitely going to be ups and downs yeah. left and right because we're humans we're mm. dealing with a lot of mm. things but on the musical test you have to understand the direction you have to read you you as well you have if you're lucky enough to have like a label that will dictate for you and mm -hmm. put you and weave you fine but i was not fortunate enough to come out from that school where you were three sisters where you were made by yeah. a label mm. do you know what mm. i mean mm. who knows what they made mm. the name they gave they how had the blueprints uh, for that as uh, so you basically just do your part yeah. it, it follows a process follows and things process. Like that. you just had to do that yes. taco taco in there and i think most of us have done it taco taco from mm. from time mm. i believe starting from our time there was no executive producers the record labels were not really there you know so we have had to do it by ourselves so we we studied the system and said okay we need this we need that so most of it we as our boys who we use say okay do this one we taught them on we, we, we have to we, me that's my story yeah. I had to teach them on the job I had to say yo do this do yeah. that 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 so you need to know what you're about mm. form your team mm. you know know the, the 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 individual roles and descriptions you know and once you gather yourself around god chosen people who are also sharing the same dream you know because it's not just for you we're doing a, a humanitarian service over here as even musicians so they have to share in the dream and the passion and yeah. be able to give their mm. quota as well mm. to you know um that's well said i mean i've picked a lot from that you've really broken down a few things um, guys, we're going to put the infographics on our pages on Instagram, Facebook, and then Twitter, Y1079FM. Uh, but in the meantime, if you do have a question for Stoneboy, who's still here with us, Why Little Boy Series Ongoing, he shared the first part of his life with us. Now we're getting closer to now, and then we'll definitely find out a few things about his ideologies in the music business, and then, you know, his personal life as well. But Charles going out to the Massive on Facebook, Charlie, we're getting mad love on there. 
Um, I wish I could mention all the names, but I'm seeing Eddie Rich, boss, uh, Tony Montana, uh, Dom Chica, I see you, Fred Dan. So what I need you guys to do for me is to share the video, share the stream on Facebook now, so that your friends and family members who are not aware this is going on can also catch up on it, all right? Uh, <laughs> I'm so just checking out. Somebody says, I mean, why if I'm yeah. saying um, 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 I always dreamt of becoming a military officer way back as a kid in school. Then somebody, Merari Rush, says, we dream, but why I can laugh at that? <laughs> 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 that, that's actually the truth though it's funny how you get to a point where you have dreams this is what you want to be baby now shall i say some some of your doctors now some i don't want to read this one if it's some funny and some in good it's funny though it's, it's funny, funny though yeah. he said i now understand why uh, but yeah, let's yeah, leave yeah. it there <laughs> we'll get to a few of that in a bit guys i'm still uh, looking forward to getting your so questions in here uh zero two zero two 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 zero seven three stone so i remember very well well, I think this one, Abiola has to come in until we talk about it. Um, somewhere around, uh, Chief, what was the year we went for a Shaman to the World concert after episodes of Mama came out? Uh, which of the years? That should be 2015. 2015, right? Or 14. 14. Yes, 14. Yeah, 14. Okay. Um, th that, that album itself was super successful. I think it peaked at number 13. I think it should be 15. After, after next, it should be 15. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ish, I think it's 15. I think, I think it's 15. Yeah, I think 14. Yeah, yeah, the police station. Yeah, the police station side. Yes, yes that, that's, where we, that's where we did it. It's 14 or 15. 14 ish? Yeah, yeah, there are about. Well, they have found because the 14 Because Nancy Evil came around 14. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, then that's yeah, it. Then yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it picked at number 13 on the Billboard uh, chart, top 200 albums worldwide. Got a lot of accolades and that. Um, would you describe that album as the, the album that sent you out of Ghana? Like, give it that international appeal? Mm, Honestly? Yeah. The Necessary Evil album did that it, it it yes i i i say it did that because mm -hmm. there's a continuity of that mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it started mm -hmm. uh -huh, it started it definitely started that for you that. but help us zone into the like the things i think that the the albums that i released anyway from grade one to mm -hmm. it started because mm -hmm. there are people who are listening outside of ghana mm -hmm. as well who you know i think you know what i mean like that mm -hmm. So I think it started f from right because there are some songs on the album that you be like, hey, because I remember when um, 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 Hills and Valley was becoming popular, which mm. was in 2009 mm. or 10. Over mm. the hills and valley from yeah. mountain top, you know, I think they were 10 or 11. However, a majority of the people were identified with it as a as an international song or foreigner song well, yeah. until they find out it's that same old storm boy behind mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. 2009. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Hunch. He has all your bro, big respect. Yeah, he's a so great keeper. At that time, I think people got the feel of say, where which young international level will be this, mm -hmm. and then they realized it'd be the same storm boy. So that mm -hmm. bought me some some yeah. more mm -hmm. credit mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I put on my mm -hmm. phone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, at what point did the music really start paying? The music started paying when I go to Adum FM, I go and do Raga Raga. The that was, that was keeping, exactly. That, that was, was paying. I. At what point did that heavy small? Uh -huh. yeah. Just so I'm not going to omit anything, like once it comes uh -huh. to mind, you mm -hmm. know, so I believe that right there was pay for mm -hmm. me because I wire it back for my mm -hmm. daily school and that one, you understand? Uh -huh. So as I can't hear self, you know, <laughs> if you give me something where I go, I must go no say the music is paying. Or why I see. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. At the time when he started paying him, um, was when I I think I was, and if he yeah from 2009 there about because mm. if you go do some school shows yeah, yeah. from here and yeah. there you get some 500 mm. CD some thousand <laughs> CD so thousand five I remember some two thousand CDs where I charge me you know go through we after the person can become my friend for a while still but you know all these ones. <laughs> Anyways, so um, according to a, a little research our team did, um, it takes Stoneboy averagely three years, um, averagely, yeah. to release an album. Yeah. All right. Um, within those three years, the average three years, uh, what are some of the main processes you put a craft, you know, through? How many uh, important mm. times do you uh, apportion to? I mean, how important are the times, the time frames you put to certain things you do with regards to your projects you put out album-wise? What goes into that? What do you look at? Do you have like a, a, a blueprint 
things you have to see first mm. because some of us know you we know we see you sing we see you drop songs all the yeah. time like you have a a, a a a pile of songs on there but what do you look at in those three years to put together the albums you drop um i think it's enough time to have a previous album sing through mm. coupled with a few singles and mm. features mm. so that period as well is i think enough time for me to have to you know deal with other stuff study the sound mm. and get ready for the next phase mm. of of of, of uh, for the next phase where i select songs that will continue the mm. the journey you know so you can study that all albums have been different in a way mm. because it came or it comes to suit a particular you know it comes out of growth you yeah, realize that yeah, there has to be yeah, growth yeah. there has to be growth yeah. for every album mm. you know so you take time to study to learn the changes in the system the sort of other songs from other amazing artists that you're going to be inspired mm. by or learn from you know vice versa because they say one great piece of song comes out of another great mm. piece of song you know so it gives me enough time mm. within those periods to, to be able to make sure that we've selected we're ready to even go to the next level mm. because I don't want to release any album that wouldn't serve its purpose, purpose mm. you know, so. Mm. But, so with this said, that means your team, you guys are never pushed by the pressures of our industry we find ourselves in because <laughs> you see people coming at you, you know, the core fans, hey, you won't drop an album, hey, you won't you say, hey, won't you say. Yours is devoid of all that. You don't make album release decisions based on what the fans mm. really are calling mm. for. There is a high consideration from the fans from because they are the consumers, mm. and as a, as a, as a marketer mm. or as somebody who who is selling a product, mm. there is definitely a need to consider mm. the market, you know, the voices, the things they say. Mm. But there is another school of thought that says that um, I stand to be corrected, corrected that I use like some majority don't really know what they want, so you have to package it for them mm. and sell it for them and they begin to like it but that is another level mm. of confidence like bringing something in that you know you know you know that they're gonna have they must love it mm. because you find out even about that that they will need it mm. but maybe they haven't realized that they will need it mm. you understand or you read the system so i definitely work with the fans and what they call for but i don't let them no disrespect mm. But the reason why I'm supposed to be Stone Boy and they are supposed to be the backative is that I have to that think element. Mm. that element where mm. I have to be spoken to mm. or pushed to say, I didn't own farm, I didn't yes, that's that that's where I stand. Mm. So I understand that. Mm. But I will trust that at every level when where I have released something, mm. they are always like they're always like mm. they're always like, Whoa, mm. it was worth the weight or worth the while mm. you know is, is it safe to say you through the years have studied your fan base you 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 studied the music scene and so you know what is right for them because you mentioned that it's not always yeah. about what they want there's you know okay this yes. is what they need at this time yes there's a, there's definitely a, 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 that is a factor to consider mm. else i think you wouldn't be in business mm. Mm. you just you wouldn't you might not be able to grow yeah. you might not be able to grow if you don't sometimes take some hard core decisions mm. and I, like i know i have some songs pending that i teased up on my socials and yeah. people were remi are still reminding me of it but i have a plan have a so plan. i'll make sure that i give it to them with a little bit of spice that will satisfy the timing I, I will compensate them for the timing and it's all a lot of work anyway you mm. know so what happened to putu yeah putu is now a, a, a national anthem in ivory coast wow when i met the president me and him we spoke that now it should stand well so uh, i'll bring remix for him so i've finished the remix, finished the remix and right. if it not be something if I play the remix today, no, we'll, we'll drop it from. I think we we'll premiere it. For yeah, them. I will take give. Yeah, see, I'll take Gan give Ganj. Exclusive thing. Master, so play them like play. that. Tomorrow. <laughs> Exclusive remix will not come today. So on your, on your, on your email, on them, make a knock you. Allow, allow, allow song out. So <laughs> Putu, Putu has become the world most prayerful song mm. 
where you pray until the unexpected unravels so you have to go into the into into the into the realms mm -hmm. of calling the unknown you have to have faith to speak your 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 tongue so now i added the francophone people because only when i went to ivory coast was when i realized that that type of style is also valid mm -hmm. so please don't don't uh i mean when patapa got really popular with it it was as if it has never existed yeah but many creatives will tell you that when they go into the studio most often they lay the vibes yeah. and then they turn the vibes into lyrics and that and sometimes it doesn't have to turn into lyrics mm. it's okay the way it the is. vibe is okay you just steady the vibes and flow with it and i realized the french people call that coupe de calais mm. So they are not saying anything. All that that we have been hearing, it's just a vibe on it. It's just a vibe, and they can harmonize it. They can. So I'm like, thank you. That means I am a coupe de calais. Same way Patapa can qualify for coupe de calais, and anybody, and else. anybody else. And guess what? It's been done. All. When Rema, Rema, and then, and then, uh, he was not saying nothing he said yeah. it. he said he was not saying anything and it's allowed sometimes music is not sometimes music is music goes beyond languages anyway it's vibes so. you, you clearly heard some of the criticisms people put out you know after you released putu that oh stonewall has been a documented artist yeah. you know his his songs are full of lyrics that we yeah. we, we make pieces of and yeah. so why would he just go drop excuse me to say gibberish yes. on there the beautiful thing is it doesn't change those other songs that have lyrics it mm. doesn't when you play them you still mm. find the lyrics is there it doesn't change you know no change on there. So it's there <laughs> you know but we always have to like i say study the market mm. make sure we are actually and look putu got everybody happy during the COVID times proper proper even when after i've dropped even you who are going no, 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 no. so we have lots of different people yeah. with different appetites yeah. and as an entertainer I have to, if I have the capacity to, to be able yeah. to satisfy a lot of people, like I'm a chef, I have to be able to cook continental dishes, I have to be able to cook lasagna, I don't know how to cook <laughs> <I'm laughs> <I'm laughs> <I'm laughs> So I say, as a musician, to, it's like a driver. If, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. are an experienced driver and you are a serious driver, yeah. you can drive everything, yeah. even trailer, even Tico, even, you know, so that's just the way. That's just the way it is. I like that, man. And, and I mean, I, t I tell this to the glory of God, right? Um, I was part of the first of the people um, who were privileged to hear the song before he came out. You remember? True, true. That night for the 69 true, side true, there. True, true, and true, you see, true, it was a vibe. You it was see myself it. and Chris you Mano. See <laughs> tell them, them, tell them what they were supposed <laughs> to do. So he just, he just dropped the thing and said, Charlie, um, I just recorded this and this is the vibe. This and and I yes, I'm yes, like, yes. This is the vibe. It's like, and like so this I was, is what I was asking Wado, say, Wado. Tell a drop verse on yeah. it you could drop on me. And guess what? Just as when I had the song, mm. I was studying it and mm. chilling around it to just take time. Mm. I will share the process mm. of how it even came out. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Wadley and I are cool, but he didn't also recognize mm. what I've always, what Once I yeah, saw in from song. that song. Mm. And I, I didn't doubt it, but I knew it was the next thing. Mm. But now the way to get to the next thing was w what you had to figure out i had to figure out mm. thank you when i did that song i knew say this one be different level but how you go oh, feel yeah. swing like make sure this one gets to them no now guess what happened anybody i've met, I met who is my kick i'm like listen to this song hey when they hear i'm gonna say hey sir so we got to a point where I had my wife and her friend in mm -hmm. the studio, mm -hmm. so I'm like, okay, winning. That was the day when I opened the song. I was recording another song, so mm -hmm. I needed a break. So whilst we were vibing, I remembered, oh, okay, let me play this on to, to you because it's a song that yeah, I, I, I shock yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. like, what do you think of the song? And then when she heard it, they heard it, they were like, oh, yeah. And then I took the opportunity to even fix something mm -hmm. on the song right there to complete the scrap record. Yeah. And then I sent it to them, say, Joe, momo fan chili chili, musu mushi obi amo fan chili chili. Mm -hmm. By reception mm -hmm. and sound and you who said because bro my troll no more but way there me who there may be replacing vibe we are lyric wise a bit maintain it still mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. although i have the pray pray go better no because mm -hmm. that one because mm -hmm. the song is supposed to uplift mm -hmm. because of the times we're in you know to even add on to the album so guess what aisha was the friend yeah so she went on live with it one time mm -hmm. 
And I think that was the part that... Yeah. And guess the coincidence. When I was sending it to them, I made a mistake. And I sent them the very, very, very core one, the, the first one, one yeah. which was short and not mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake because mm -hmm. I was... And that was a good... Like a genuine mistake, yeah. but it was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, guess what? However it was... I woke up one day and it was on Tunde Ed North's page and they're like, is this the same song where who wrote it? And I'm like, oh. So then the song had to be released. But I still said we'll forget. Yeah. We'll go release them in December. <laughs> or we're somewhere yeah. we're in September or something like that. So we'll go release them in, in December mm. or in October. Mm. Then my wife came and said, We did random, we did they do we did random no, I think it's something super important. I mean it's important. It's like, <laughs> I say mafia. <laughs> hey, they release the song. I say ah <laughs> no the song and that was like a Friday yeah or a Saturday Sunday no way I for just release the song mm -hmm. because the way the boss they come in you no know, I needed to and that's how we got put to and now mm -hmm. we have a, the remix is fire it I can fire. get money on that the remix has now going to be like you know if Putu was trials this is the real song mm. this is the actual the actual yeah coming from a, a rhythm point. Mm. Because the French guys understood that because the Putu was a big song in, in Togo, mm, yeah. it started in Togo to be big before it. I don't know, I'm mm, sure. Mm. I saw Togolese jump mm. to it, then subsequently, the French and uh, like the French speaking Africans before it got really big. Before I even shot the video, so I even yeah. shot the video in Togo. So, big respect to Adebayo, he hosted us and you know, sorted that out because he actually loved the song. You know, and so now we have the remix, which you and know we have the remix. That. We're gonna drop it for you guys in a bit. But um, for for the sake of my guys who want to grow in this business, right? Um, Stone gaining recognition as um, as an artist is uh, the only first step, in my opinion. You you have to be able to sustain and stay in the system. I mean, longevity sets in at this point. Uh, for any young artists out there listening, what are the three key things to keep their eyes on? In Stoneboy's opinion, longevity, staying, uh, 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 sorry, staying relevant in the music business for as long as possible after you've gained the attention of the world. In simple words, I think it's all about it's all about hard work, mm -hmm. hard work, and uh, again, the mercies of God because mm -hmm. in the end. We run things, but mm. there's a, there's a su supernatural, you know, existence that mm. also makes it work eventually. Mm. That's why you dream. Sometimes mm. you dream, and it comes to pass, and you think, and it comes. You have faith, and mm. it comes to pass. So all these things work. But that, that's it. Simply put, bro, mm. like I don't have any magic wand lying at home that I wave or I shake to mm. make things happen. Right. You just have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. You know. May I drop this? Like the consistency doesn't mean that you always have to be played, or you always have to be the hottest. Once you were once upon a time the hottest, I think that is enough for you to be able to become the hot, the heat, mm. the cold. Mm. And at every phase of this, you should be able to maintain. Yeah. So that. At the end of the day, when your race is run, they can put it all together mm -hmm. and congratulate you. That's how I see it is. So when you're in your 20s, make sure you, as a creative, mm. you appeal to, you know, mm. the core fans. And if you're lucky to get into your 50s and the kids do appeal to you or the newer people appeal to you, plus the older G generation, then you know you did something right. Mm. So that's all. Let's just keep reading the times and yeah. churning out yeah. the best of us as mm. creatives because Definitely. we are here to entertain. And even after we are said be dead and gone, if we did it well and it appealed to people, mm -hmm. it will live on. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you for that gem as well. I, I, at this point, I want to find out a little bit more about you know family and and you know family life. Uh, how 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 much has fatherhood changed your perception towards life? I mean, things you knew about life. Um, things you knew growing up, things you knew growing your music, how different are they now thanks to fatherhood? Um, sorry, how has fatherhood changed? I'm trying to mail yeah, the song, you yeah. know, it's off, off top. Um, fatherhood changed my life, right? How has it? Yes. Um, it's definitely it's like growth. You know, if you didn't have kids or you were not responsibly mm. attached or engaged, 
there are several opportunities that you you that, that there are several things that you would be careless about yeah you know and careless like mm. not like you're a careless person but mm. you care less yeah. about you know and not really consider but once you go on the ladder of life and you now become a married person or you are seriously engaged with somebody or you have the vision of making your family as well which is in a natural order like that mm. the things have to change things have to get to you to get things you have to give some things mm. so you just have to understand your positioning mm. and mm. do well to live up to that the, yeah you know level mm. you know so so that cj and jaja jaja um are you are you by any chance going to nurture music and you know the business line you're in now in any of them um, you mentioned that CJ sings. C even CJ, the Jaja, Jaja, even Jaja, Jaja sing. Sefdi sing. In the fear, he get energy off. <laughs> <laughs> Any of them? Would you? Would you encourage? Let me. I think the word. The word should be encouraged. Yeah. The thing is, what can man do without music? You see, mm. I've come to realize that music is a part of our, our living. Okay. Sound, wet, and power is mm. part of our existence. Mm. It should be a part of our existence. Mm. As much as not everybody can be a musician mm. or is supposed to be the messenger, mm. everybody can sing. Mm everybody has to be able to sing but it's not everybody that can become a musician mm -hmm. or a custodian or a messenger mm. of the vibes you know what i mean so if they do find themselves to become chosen as well then i'll by the grace of god be there to mentor and use my experience as i've gained to guide, to guide them. and mm. make sure that they become greater and better mm. you know um, you, you established the Livingstone Foundation back in January 2017, announced a sponsorship, uh, sponsorship package for five students of your alma mater. Is there a long-term plan to sustain this and possibly bring others on board to help? Yes, please. There's a long-term plan and has been redressed as well because at the time, free SHS was not in vogue. Mm -hmm. So I realized that everything else I've gone through while I was in, mm -hmm. in, in senior high school, yeah. I can also try you know it's not like i have it all at all we're all still hustling so that was one of the things that we did and continued to do until the shift came for um um um, um free shs yeah. you know so we channeled that energy into uh, i think last year so i was doing the skill training mm -hmm. where because of corona we trained some people in various departments to be able to learn some handy handiwork you know some craft yeah you know and interestingly some of them have come out to even establish their own hustle yeah which, which is exactly. very mm. grateful so you know which is very nice and i'm grateful for and even so we've engaged in um um health care and we did the health screening as well for the assignment to the world yeah. that before that yeah. it was nice gave people drugs and all of that medicines to sort their stuff so as and when we do plan something we deliver, deliver you know mm. and you should know that this is actually major ma ma majority of the funding comes from myself where it comes from the beam shop the proceeds the from the, beam shop, shop, the yeah. merchandising and myself as a musician mm. that puts a quota mm. in doing all this mm. humanitarian stuff mm. as well you know like i repeat i can't do it all but mm. you know the fact that there is a need for us all to try to continue to impact society even as I the music i try to do these things and the current plan we have now is um we are deciding to you know refer refer um how do you call it re, re refurbish, refurbish. Uh, renovate Reno yes. yes renovate um, um some schools yeah in the rural areas mm. and i think that's a very beautiful project mm. that i would be so happy to start embarking on yeah so we're putting logistics pros and cons to and pros together and we'll hit the road for the foundation mm. bits as well yeah, how do people join in the project i mean people are yes. probably listening our corporate entities yes. who would want to you know join hands with we, you yeah we definitely need support people joining mm. hands with us to make sure mm. you know so i uh, think is you can follow the livingston tlf ghana you know on instagram and that and i can also leave numbers that you can call so you can join and partner with us mm. because we need hands on board to be able to you know do these things for one another because mm. we can't surely leave everything whilst the government is supposed to do their part 
we can also gradually mm. solicit from these corporate mm. entities mm. who actually have social mm. corporate social responsibilities to partner with us mm. to be able to do these things you know and the beauty is that it's going to be even more loud and more fulfilling yeah knowing Most that you know, yeah. we all came together mm. and joined hands to make it happen great um do you ever have plans of venturing into um anything politics related in the near future I've been asked this a number of times. If my hustle takes me to a point where I might need a political office to continue to serve and hustle and continue to do me, I might. You won't say no. I'm just saying, you know, but okay. it's not a thing that I have keenly considered that, okay, now I think in the next two, three, four, five, ten years, I must become a politician. Yeah. Because what can a musician not do? What power does a musician not have mm. to be able to impact and also be as powerful as a politician you know maybe on our side of town it's it's not really um, um, um doable because the primary income is zero yeah all sorts of things that will empower you financially is zero nonetheless when god blesses us we gain the power mm. by the people mm. you know and it's just because we can't get any funding on our, our primary income. No yes. day, so, no day. Like if you dare, boss, I tell you that a lot of us would want to have to be doing so many things mm. that I think would be even probably more than what a politician can do. Because a politician may be forced to remain within a political sphere. Sphere. Yeah. Whereas we cut across, mm -hmm. and I think, same being here, sir. Um, when it comes to our growth as a country, you know, our music sector in particular, yeah. creative arts industry, um, it's been uh, widely, you know, said and hammered that a lot of attention don't come to us creatives, uh, you know, when it comes to our dealings with the policy makers. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, do you think the entertainment fraternity in Ghana has done enough to collectively yeah. um, convince authorities to ease, uh, you know, things that has to do with our, our operations? Our delivery and all that do you think we've been able to convince them enough okay please hold on i sure. want to send this song first no problem Shouts going out to all our viewers on our facebook if you're watching now we're about to jump straight to our ass today we just might have to go a little bit extra on that sorry to our shouts on why massive Zero two zero two 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 zero seven three. That's yours in. I have a few questions on here from our Twitter. The hashtag is Wiley the Boat Series. And uh, massive one going out to our face with you. All the guys texting us on our WhatsApp. Love to you guys. All right. So um, uh, back to the question. I think we're trying to get the new exclusive song. The worldwide premiere will be done on here. So we're trying to get things right. So we serve it. Uh, we're back on that. I still wanted to find out from you. Uh, do you think our creative arts uh, you know, sector has been able to convince you know, the fraternity? Mm. Do you think we've been able to convince our policymakers enough to uh, focus on us, you know, involve yeah. us? Because it's a big sector. It is. And, I mean, ideally, as you said, we should be in a position to uh, directly influence policies and the likes. But do you think we've been able to do enough ourselves? Yeah, well, um, we should be able to, you know, individually, this is how far we have come. Yeah. On our own. Mm. You can backdate it to from... Our legends up until now mm. it's, 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 it's almost always been an individual struggle but the country is stands at a vantage point where it, it it takes the credit and the accolades like for instance if I move across doing my thing by the grace of God becoming a household name I go along with Ghana I make people I that that may not be all that I can do but Considering that it's, 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 it's an effort well made, mm. you know. So what I think it is, I stand to be advised. But what I think it is, is that the government itself, for fee, did their abortion also. You know what I mean? Because most of them, after every four years, whatever, they come with manifestos that yeah. also addresses the sector. 
Mm. But eventually, it falls some way, somehow, you know, where I think they are witnesses to the fact that the manifestos are not being realized. Mm. If they were mm. fully good, if they were realized, I think then we would have moved on to the next trouble to solve the next trouble. Mm. So, to ask me if we are doing it enough, I think that I beg to say that we, have, we are trying mm. and we have done the most. Mm. Because any abaya ne suma yense yenko enyo and a yenye celebrities, but a idea it 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 who consider the business wise ah a idea in case om omo boche ni na ni to me be no omo to me ye forums no omo consulti no omo frefre yeni I know say it happens these things do happen but still no yense na huli sa inti no say say no currently speaking no I will pray to God say. Now that we have a deputy minister, you know, in the name of Mr. Marco Kwekumante. From the industry. From the industry. I believe that the fight that he has always wanted to fight, you know, although it will not be me, add anything to him, make you reach where he, mm-hmm. he reach, you know. I believe, say, he himself to get some butter for the industry, say, when he make well, it will become that multi-million mm. hub mm. of an industry where it will create a lot of jobs like it has already created. Mm, mm, mm. It, will, it will help to drive tourism. Mm. Mm. It will help to do so many yeah. things because the music and the art be the face mm. of, the, of, the, of the policies. Yeah. You know? We drive the people. So basically, I think there is what more can we do mm. to get help or proper support? Not as in a Penny penny, so no, as in s- the structure and things for work, so that once you are able to push yourself to a certain level, then you're able to mm. flow through these structures. Mm. Well, what I say, I quite say, I won't go to school seven years, also, you're a doctor. And he said, I'll bomb your bomb my home, or then I say, you to me, yen yam, and he be do your doc, baby, out to me, no, we qualify ya. Now, for some people, sometimes. A few just recently, I realized a few of my friend artists or celebrities they are running on diplomatic passports. Yeah. So you realize how the country they cherish them, say they, they do something for them. Mm. Yeah, so because I always use an example. So if I go and do something bad yeah. somewhere internationally, yep. I'm not, not gonna yeah. bear the shame. Ghana is going to bear the shame. Yeah. So this small good way we they do us in with a match with foreign artists international all from our huge export for ghana proper things we do you know we know they really get the mm-hmm. the support mm-hmm. you know the country you know, they tap in to yeah. say yes and they know they vim us me right now if they call me say, i can't take diplomatic passport it, it, it's worth it mm. because every time when they travel they go they come when they go in the name of ghana when they move things sorry oh, i stand to this one is a com- conversation yeah, yeah, nobody yeah, can yeah. curse me too much i see <laughs> there, are people, there are people who have them, the, those privileges, mm. but they know they are, they, they know they of any use like that. Yeah. So therefore, empower we to the creatives and make we to feel like say we they die for the nation, mm. yeah, because a country without legends and superstars and sports and things, then that country be like the entertainment session die be that. Mm. Yeah, so. You just you just mentioned legends. Um, recently you were in Abidjan, which is right, and you. You tipped that you were working on a project with uh, Alpha Blondie. True. Um, how far with the project? Project is going on good. Album is going to be released in September, so I'm on the album. He actually mm. featured me on one of his albums, and I have we have a plan also on doing a medley of one of his legendary mm-hmm. songs also, mm-hmm. and having a few of the African. Can I Afro suggest which one people. you guys do? Uh, uh, Jerusalem. Yeah. How did you know, bro? That's that's one of my favorite from here. That's it. That's the I connect. That's oh, that's the one. That's the one that we want to. I'm gonna do a project off of now. Wow. You know, um, like a medley project off of. Imagine me on a Jerusalem Jerusalem with other African dancehall reggae influenced. And this hasn't been said anywhere. I mean, today I'm getting. Wow. I came before I started. I speak <laughs> you only, speak only the, truth the truth only. Wow. So yeah. Jerusalem, there's a project coming up. I mean, yes. if you know Alpha Blondie, the legendary Alpha Blondie, yes. you definitely know what to expect yes, on Jerusalem. Yeah. And there's a yeah. project coming off that we have Ghana Stone Boy on there representing. No, yeah, that is what I'm Are about you to embark on. Yeah. But for him, mm. he featured me on a on the album. album that's coming released. off. That's coming off September, September. October. 
Yeah. And it's an honor. I didn't know I was going to go out to meet Coco. Coco, Coco, Coco de Ras. How dare me? <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to just give that. Great moment. You, know, you couldn't. Give things, it things like this, I mean, move me to find out from you. I mean, in your musical journey, which moments would you describe as your greatest moments? Moments that blew you, like it blew your mind. Up till date, like whenever you remember, you're like, whoa. Like moments like that keep coming every mm. time. You know, like a moment with Alpha Blondie mm. like that was another glorious moment. Moment with Kerry Hilson was a glorious moment. Moment with a lot of, you mm. know, performing mm. at some mm. of the biggest mm. stages mm. as a first mm. kind of artist mm. to even touch that is, 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 is a glorious moment. And also one thing I always keep finding out which gives me a lot of um, 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 joy and makes me feel proud is that you find out that there are Ghanaians involved on this international tele in every corner you find there is a Ghanaian involved wow. the wars again and for instance you find um alpha blondies coco or coco and when they break down the story and tell you how many Ghanaians made alpha blondies band and actually started his journey proper mm -hmm. you'll be amazed mm -hmm. so i think it's time now for us to also shine that light on us the more mm -hmm. so that our people are we keep inspiring people you know yeah. because if you never saw a great man how do you know you can become one anyway i'm just saying mm. you know so we need to inspire mm. our people still. Mm, mm. i like that so i think at this point we'll just take a few questions from our, our listeners um yeah. we'll take two from our facebook uh we'll take the rest from our twitter and then um uh the rest wow 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 wow, wow. okay uh. <laughs> all right um, so uh, this person wants to find out how you combine uh, family, music, and the music business. Three things. I, I, I'm yeah. very interested in this because he segregated music and then the music business. How yeah. do you combine all these? Family, music, and music business. Okay, I break it down to be music mm. business is the business that goes on be behind the mm -hmm, scenes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, to get the... The, the 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 show going or yeah. the music going so that one surely with uh with a competent team where we are all dedicated to growing we are on our, on yeah, our on ten the, toes and mm, we are trying mm, the most every mm, time mm, you know we're open to learning new things and everything and then on the family side um i think basically it is the right mindset the positive intention mm -hmm. to want to better one another I seen that's what keeps it going mm. you know like you have a girlfriend and you and your girlfriend have to be cool and yes i will be a man of now team in iowa i will be a sign in the momo wakuhu also a sign will be momo wakuhu this can small small communities communities guess be chat also chat guess be yeah yeah this one oh and on a ma and ma and on a yeah the community of the whole situation <laughs> Well, Shah's gonna have to call me Rasta, man. So, so all this one, oh, you for mm -hmm. manager, yeah. to be management. Yeah. Born mm -hmm. the yeah, yeah, And yeah. today marks the fourth year yeah, of fourth my year wedding of your wedding anniversary, you know man. Congrats, so Charlie. Management, you know. Why are you the four years? Yeah. Yeah. Big up on yourself. Big up on the chest. Big up on the chest. Through the glass. Four years, me, I married you, know. Four years. <laughs> it's not an easy year. And I can only thank God. Like this morning, I woke up with wifey, and me, yeah, I say, yeah, you get an interview. Oh, we go away. He say, happy anniversary. I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. Big up, big up. Give me the goals. I was finished. Finish. We with the moon. Straight up. <laughs> with the moon. I can only be grateful yeah. for, I mean, it's a day. Mm. And I you say this not for myself, mm. but I want her, I want this to be that I'm standing in the name of all of, of one woman to say big respect to every other woman mm. who knows they are pillars behind mm. their families, mm. not only their men. That's all I can say. So thanks to everybody. I know the people's birthday today, Magdan Macaulay yeah. and uh, Honorable Kennedy, Japan. Honorable Kennedy Japan. All these great men mm. have had that woman behind yeah. their backs they have had a woman that they can speak highly of, of mm. who has actually been there mm. and i am grateful to have found one of those my paddy be that my g my nigga yeah. hey, hey, the ups and downs the cool meninis and the spice of it is that it's beautiful to have blessings of kids who also neutralize the whole atmosphere mm, mm. you know so god bless it's mm. my fourth year so i'll put my momo number no, so that <laughs> if four years no we joke uh, so say so you go to give me 400 <laughs> four million, four, everything all the figures will be four, four. Yeah. <laughs> definitely man so that's jerusalem in the back though for you guys it's who are asking people are asking song. which song it is 
Hebrew, Hebrew, yes. yes. And that was weird. So remember, uh, yeah. until I came over to the yeah. house, I didn't know. I'm sorry for this. I, I think you know I'm supposed this to know. Well. Yes, I'm asked supposed to know better. Station, I, asked, I so. never knew Alpha Blondie was French. Aha, uh -huh, you see. I always thought he was from that side, but then I questioned myself a lot because yes. you see his complexion and you're like, this man has to be from Africa somewhere. Yes. And so a part of me believed, without research whatsoever, mm. believed, okay, maybe there's a, a, an ancient Hebrew clan here in Africa yes. somewhere, yes. which makes perfect sense because there he never lived be, there. Definitely. He there never lived be. there. The real story was that he said he visited and had a friend mm. who in Jerusalem mm. who he just got inspired visiting yeah. the land. He yeah. actually advised me to visit as mm. well because he has a lot of spiritual... Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. So, you know, actually, so the friend basically taught him, mm -hmm. you know, the things he wanted to say. To sing, and yeah. till date, that's us. And that's the beauty of music, mm -hmm. isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Somebody who's not a Jew or a yeah. Hebrew or yeah. whatever, speaking and singing in that, mm. and that has blown all across Africa. Yeah. We're all singing yeah. Jerusalem. So that continues to tell you that. Mm. Um, Bro, music is music on mm. its own. Language may not be a barrier, mm. but if you understand the music, is better. It's better. Uh -huh, but it's, it can never be a it barrier. It can never be a barrier. Wow, beautiful one on that. So, guys, you guys know what to expect of that project. Um, Stoma is in the spirit already. You know, Jerusalem is about to take a different turn on Stoma's side. Um, next question in here says, I know he loves music, but is he looking to further his studies in the field of music or entertainment? And is it something he will advise young and upcoming artists to look at? A uh, question to Stoma from yeah. Utopia Fenty. Um, today, if I continue to speak all the truth, I'll speak everything. <laughs> but on that tangent, I am well, 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 well. I've considered already. Okay. And so don't be amazed if... To hear the news okay you know yeah all right um next question in here says uh there's been a lot of commentary lately about um artists creative artists um winning the grammys personally does it put any sort of pressure on you um it's a good thing to be recognized at the mm. tops of the tops you know all these things all these awards all these schemes are all systemized yeah you know music came before these ones mm. there's no award that came before music you know and therefore most of the greatest that have ever done it were not privileged to be around there mm. when these schemes were put in place so mm. they never won none mm. even if they were around some for whatsoever reason never really got their names on in mm. that and one of those people are bob marley himself yeah, and fella and i think if you research you will get many 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 more so mm. In our times now, if it does come across that you have worked hard to merit a Grammy, mm -hmm. beautiful. You know, music shall always continue. But this shouldn't discourage anybody who may not have gotten closest mm -hmm. or have won anything before. Because we are still jamming here with great, great, great music from our... our is it because maybe they've not won Grammy or they've not gotten close? Yeah. So we are not going to enjoy them equally? No. So for me, I've always been light-hearted and light-headed about awards, God knows. Mm. One key focus for me is that once we continue to produce great music and continue to entertain our people, it will get there. Mm. So the, the higher it goes, the greater it gets. These schemes will, will not, cannot do without recognizing us. Yeah. If, and these are all systems and put in place. So you can even imagine that, specifically the Grammys, there are many of our great, great American artists who even have their own issues with it. With it, yeah. And don't consider it. With Some it, yeah. have come out the weekend and them have come out to say, look, I'm not even, part, don't nominate yeah. me. I don't mm, want to be mm, a part mm, of mm, it mm. because it's a human institution. Mm. And they create to, you know, they can, yeah, to meet each other's why, to meet each other's share, not mm. effort. So, so far, you know, I know we find no way too much. I need be a when you're on own to me. Mm. So I, mm. I advise my people mm. say mm. when we get there, we've got in there. Mm. But to me, Stone Boy, honestly speaking, I'm not pressured you're like not that. Not pressured like that. But 
it, it is not useless. Mm. You feel me? In our times, they are better to, and it's a system that when it recognizes you, you know that, okay, yes, you are part of that. Mm. You know, you are in that area, in that level. And to say, I think I worked on an album with Morgan Heritage yep. who sp pushed me to that level yep. where I was recognized, recognized yep. as part of. But the actual nominee is Morgan Heritage. Yep. You know, I only came off as a recognition, like a contributor. Like a contributor. And yep. at that level, what whoever contributed, mm. even if you play the snare or you you know or you stroke uh, or you strike the string mm. you're still going Link to be still recognized mm. so yeah all right uh, every quick question I, I think this might have to be my last question guys um wants to find out he says um um stone boy when are you signing another artist um have you delayed all this while because of your past experience with new artists um this question keeps coming because i know that a lot of people will need opportunities to mm. also shine one thing i'll say is that i've never stopped giving opportunities to people mm. whether signed or not you know but i assure you guys that i have a program coming i've been saying this for two years or more and we're still fine-tuning it something that would actually be a platform that would even be able to contain more than just a person mm. but many more so we can continue to breed mm. more of us into mm. the system so experiences are supposed to actually make you learn and take things even more serious mm. look many of the things i've been through or they may think i went through because at least people do see few things is they are not things that i didn't foresee yeah there are, th there are things that i considered but was not and so in the end you just only have to get stronger and better at actually fine-tuning the process of you know getting other people on board because mm. already our system and our structures are not really you know encouraging like that so the reality is that you have to take time to fix things to be able to get on that flight see mm, definitely on that yeah. um so if you if you're not well before i get back to that uh, so i did a little bit of research uh you know makiba's 1965 uh, collaboration with harry belafonte won a grammy award uh -huh. making her the first african recording artist to win this award so there's nothing wrong with actually claiming it or, or basking it i mean you have it whether it's recognition or not, nah, mm, okay. I mean, it's to your yeah, credit. Yeah, 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 it's definitely, oh, definitely. Yes. I only wanted to also lay mm. emphasis because if it wasn't necessary for everybody to be, whoever worked on it as a, as a part of the project to be honored, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have yeah. if it wasn't that mm. heavy. So mm. as far as I'm concerned, from 2017, I've been, my name has been running around the Grammy era areas mm. where by virtue of that, I've done some of the, big shows abroad and in europe and all these ones so it 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 it, it, it opens doors it's you mm. know it's good to work hard to get mm. to levels mm. as such mm. um stone if, you, if you're not listening to yourself your music um if you want to have a good time you're calling off which five Ghanaian artists are you listening to mm. you, we can do songs we can do specific yeah. songs if you don't mind um Okay, let me just take you from that. And this is real life. Mm -hmm. For the Ashama there, something will talk to you, you know something. Today, pass this left. Don't mm -hmm. use that other road. By the time you go pierce, you go pass one road. You go meet somebody where you go shine your light for that day. Either you go give you some block or you go, you go, con you go, die, you know, you go add on to your day. So we can't always calculate what go come. Mm -hmm. But the reality is just be positive, positive and hopeful. Yeah. Yeah. and have a lot of faith mm. whilst you put yourself to work mm. at the highest level that of your might mm. that's all i do mm. bro i push to every limit i'll be honest it might not be the best but if i ever take a break it's because i'm sick i'm not feeling well yeah. right into by the time i go feel well i'm on the job mm. if i go ah, and i ever take a break it's because i'm not feeling well it might not be the best, but yeah. this is how hard I go. Yeah. This is how hard I go. Mm. So how else? Just go hard, pray, be faithful, and know that. Mm. Mm. That's the reality. Mm. That's the reality. That's the reality. That's the reality. That's the reality. Seb, you are saying I make from yeah. where I grew up. No, Ebi and I are Papa Ka. Ha, inti no. Say say race na speedy speedy, but men found who compare because who need the obi. Yeah. 
enu mu na ko tu se san kola se bi o min kai obi ya oba san kola mi nu na kwa ni di sa pickers ni ko bo oba wan ka sa hwe hwe level of e ye o ho ni buta ni ni se o peso o hitiska ni buta ni nu nu o dwen ni o first an sa na o ba ba dwen di obetumi aye akọ hitiska no it is say to me normalize say no matter what no Hustle is important. Take time and grow because mm. in the end, bro, maybe I'll pray. I'll be quite quite lost. Now, if you be new, so crazy, you to make a praise. And if I one day at a time, the idea me yet to be an one say, bro, me if I get one opportunity, me borrow money to take. I make sure opportunity no. My my finish your opportunity no. You see, say no reward and background. You okay? Yeah. Me okay. Crazy. You pass all boss shot. You buy PS. Now what boss shot? Now buy bar. You okay? Yeah. Near goal in a short and up a cell born. Wabo. It's a hustle now, and what the hustle kick. The ever banners of Grand Yanko Ponk because of Shakumu and the shiny pa. Now the obey piano. Oye ni papa panas or the bonnie pana, we be be moving our respect to say, Cow, here be you more. You any say bonnie a buy an interest, say bonnie no less idea and a reward. Papa be a new wife, Papa Pamba. That's what I believe. All right. So just the positive, no. You know, one love. You Reverend know. Fasta. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. More please, more please, more please. <laughs> All right, so Charlie, thank you so much for coming through. Uh, bro, it's been <laughs> remember, it's new. Our own collection. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you learn it. Yeah, remember, it's the collection. Collection. Yeah, that's what I say. Or the four. Four years. Or the four. So they are grown up and on. Some of them says the same. I am four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. Four years then you grow cry. And you baby bring it to me, mommy do four years. Oh my god. But you mommy mommy no mommy empty empty empty. Yeah, no mommy for the phone. No mommy empty. Hey, zero two one. Zero two four three. Eight eight. Banana banana. So full banana banana. I don't know you. So full. Eight eight eight. Four eight seven six. We put on my mom on this. We're going to come and buy my new one. So I think at this point you have to introduce a brand new one. It's the exactly. first time I play anywhere in the world. Me, Mammy Rainfi, charity, you know, so so. Hey, what they offer? Zero five zero. Fifteen fifty thousand. Mm. You'll be directed equally. Yes, people want to donate zero five and zero, join the project. Fifteen fifty thousand is a huge project coming and mm. yeah, they are grown up. Now yeah, 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 yeah. See, our chef here, our quite a lot. Oh, funny. Nyan, ni ni ne e ba mi more pa more because see, everybody and the tree planting thing is going on. You know, mm. I did mine to mm -hmm. find mm -hmm. a way make sure when the last tree dies, the last man yeah. dies. It's our responsibility as mm. well. Let's support government in the positive things mm. that they're doing mm. and also be able to constructively mm. criticize the things that we want yeah. fixed and changed. Mm. Mm. Big respect. All right. All right. So we need a brand new one. Introduce him. Brand new one. one. Remy Adan, Remy Adan, say, who name Remy Adan now? Oh, no, no, boy. They good, they so are they good, they so are they good, they so are. Yeah, Chopi, I know someone who said, no, no, a big francophone song in Ghana. And guess what? This is the guy. We did a remix of, and when I spoke to him, he said it was partly Ghanaian. Wow. So it's like, Charlie, it's just us. So what I said, uh -huh. to put two remix, no, one fan fa, yeah, right, call, one yeah, fan fa. Congratulations, you found the one station that plays Ghana's best urban music. YFM. Listen to YFM 107.9 Accra, 102.5 Kumasi, and 97.9 in Takarati. 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 Takarati.